I, I honestly don't remember the first drum I had. I mean, I know my brother, <laughs> my brother, he got ridiculously drunk when he was about five because there was a card game going on in our house and he was under the table and uh, there was whiskey being passed under the table and he would take it and take a swig. So he ended up legless, age five. A little water is fine because a little water actually helps it opens out the whiskey a little more, it does. But ice kind of does that freezing thing, so it doesn't actually liberate the whiskey in the same way. So I, I would say certainly with water, certainly a drop, yeah, absolutely, water. Lagavulin. I like, I like the peaty whiskies. It's what I call the cognac of whiskies, and I like that sense of, I don't know, history and depth that, that, that it has. Well, I've got Japanese whiskey, which I'm quite fond of. Because I don't drink it so much, my son comes here and he tends to demolish my whiskey, and I have to actually physically stop him, almost getting my throat, my hand round his throat and holding him over the chair to say, you're not having any more whiskey, you're not drinking. No, that's not true, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I... Um, what's your question again? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's one bottle I've got. There's a new uh, distillery called... Uh, well, it's, it's makes gin and vodka, and it's in our broth called Arbiki. I don't know if you've heard of it. And they are now onto their whiskey making. But the first thing they did was they did a rye, which was really, really excellent. And it's very unusual. There are not very many bottles of it. And I, I think it's worth a few shillings, but I can't see it anywhere, which I'm a bit worried about. I hope my son hasn't drunk it, the wretch. <laughs> Oh, bollocks. <laughs> There's an element of masturbation about tasting notes which I really don't appreciate. No. Yes, yes. Oh dear. Disgraceful, yes. The problem is that the, the guests I would invite would all be alcoholics. That's the difficulty. Um, you know, Spencer Tracy, who I have a huge, you know, who's a, who I'm a big fan of and who's an actor I've, who's inspired me more than any actor I know. So he would be one guest, but he's an alcoholic, so I'm not sure he'd be able to drink. Uh, the other people would be Cary Grant. He might be able to drink it, who I have admired greatly. And then there would be people like, well, Probably, these don't mean anything to you, but Barbara Stanwyck and an actress called Jean Arthur, who I, they, they, they'll all be actors, they'll all be performers or actors. And then uh, my late pal Fulton Mackay, I would also, he was, he quite liked to nip now and again, so that would be, that would be my bunch, I think. I, I don't really share the idea that on my deathbed I'm going to be drinking whiskey. Not really. <laughs> no, not really. I